Hello everybody. Thank you very much for joining me again. Um, let's talk about file manage managers app on the deck station. Uh, on, on the level, can even speak today. Obviously, I'm not editing video, so everything what I'm gonna say and make my funny noises, I'm gonna leave it in the video. Anyway, on one of the posts on Reddit, uh, by the way, we have a Reddit group by the name of Samsung Techs. Obviously, I'll leave a link to that Reddit group in the description below. You are more than welcome to join our very fast growing community. We right now have like 300 subscribers on that subreddit. We had like 150 about a week ago. Anyway, uh, file managers on a deck station. Obviously, uh, inside the deck station, you have your built in one, which is Samsung Files. And um, it's all fine. It does basic stuff. I mean, you can move around and etc. But let's say if you go to move something, which I'm gonna try to move something. Here we are, done documents. Uh, my uh, YouTube banner. So I need to click and hold, then do a copy or move. So let's say I want to copy. I'm gonna go back to internal, go somewhere else. I don't know. Let's go downloads. Copy here. And it's sort of you're always stuck in one bin window, so we need to move back and forward, etc. Between that one within one window, there's an alternative which is uh, I'm using lately, which is called CX File Explorer. Why I'm using this? It has a very nifty feature, Apps List, which I can go through a list and just tick them and uninstall if I want all in one go. What I mean, I select some of them and I will click uninstall and just gonna keep uh, uninstalling pop up. Uh, confirmation when it will keep appearing and I will just click OK, OK, it goes off. Another very good thing with this is I can connect to the Dropbox, Google Drive, my Shield TV or access from a computer using internal IP, which is all fine and good. But again, when you go full screen mode, it's, it's sort of unnecessary, nearly a half of the page, just this information in the middle and everything around is basically a waste of space. and. I'm using this, well, lately, what I mean, I slowly started drifting away from this because I basically start using this, Total Commander. I remember Total Commander from back in old days when, oh, come on, close that, okay, back in old days when, uh, when uh, Total Commander, when I had the first uh, computer. I remember I had the first computer and the total commander was basically something like this. Will it be a good photo? Is that the, this is it? That's the resolution I'm going to get. Okay, let's go to this. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's give you a quick total commander. Obviously I misspelled images. Let's go full screen. Let's try to open something that uh, re represents total commander that I used to use something like this here we are that's the one I remember like a black and white here we are if someone remembers what this is uh, uh, this is obviously total commander alternative to Linux but this was one of the first total commander like a visual here we are here we are, Total Commander. That's the one. That's the one. So anyway, Total Commander was one of my favorite file management software when I, uh, I basically I had my first ever computer. And since then, I was just basically randomly moving files, etc. And apparently, there is a Android version, which we're going to go over to see what it does. Straight away, I would like to point out that at the moment, I have only internal storage. Sadly, my SD card died. It's not like SD card was buggy or anything. It's just that SD card um, is reached its life limit. I'm just looking around. Where is it? I had a SD card 128 gigabytes, and I, I I had this SD card for about four, maybe five years. I mean, as soon as it's been announced, I bought it, and first it went to Note 4, then um, went to Galaxy S8 Plus, and I mean, like this SD card was in nearly every phone I owned. So it's died, so I'm planning to get my new one. But anyway, this is the Total Commander. And the beauty of this, you can control all of it with a keyboard. Just to quickly to let you know, uh, I can see two windows. So as you can see, I can switch between. If you cannot see this, if you need to go to settings, well, there are three dots at the bottom, configuration. 
and under uh, let me quickly find out where is it um, configuration fonts and color nope this is not that place Oh, where is it? Where is it? I found a uh, bingo list window arrangement. I have a tick on the only recommend for large screens, show two panels, mm -hmm. vertical. Someone just sent me a message and a horizontal show two panels. So this one you don't really need. You need only show two panels when the screen is horizontal. And I believe this is going to show me two, two side by side. So let's start moving some stuff. So uh, I'm right now on the left hand side. So let's go there keep going down documents so that's the same banner I want to move it to the downloads folder or copy so downloads delete I want to delete this uh, delete I think is f10 or f8 okay hold on uh, yeah, yeah 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 here we are f8 it sort of automatically put the tick why I'm pressing the finger on the button on the screen here you go f8 puts to this so I say yes that's moved go back to left side f6 copy or move to the load yes do you want to copy move i want to copy boom done no flicking pages etc etc everything in one place and let's say if i go to uh let's go back um backspace uh, by the way uh, works as a back so go to uh, my google drive let's go to everything youtube youtube thumbnails that's why i keep all the thumbnails i ever created for my channel I don't know why I just keep them so every folder basically represents some game or app that I tried and then I sort of gave up so I start just throwing everything in one place so let's say GTA San Andreas Dex F7 create new folder no wrong button F6 do you want to do this I basically what's happened I press F6 it says it gives you a location you obviously can add if you want and if you press enter it gives you option send via bluetooth copy or move i'm going to say copy so right now boop, copied and i can basically open up it gives me an option which app to use i, I need a keyboard for this or, and, and a mouse gallery here we are samsung dex gta san andreas that's one of my old thumbnails that i used to create in a google drive draw i think it's called draw uh, option so again move around uh, other buttons f1 I can't remember what it does F2 rename the file F3 don't know F4 not really F5 is copy and move I think F5 and F5 and F6 they are move and copy or copy and move because that does the same thing F7 create a folder F8 is delete F9 is sort by name size uh, size sort by size ascending here we are sorted by size by the way page up and down works as well f10 is opens opens this right okay so let's go back to the top i am in my root folder of youtube thumbnails f10 i want to search i want to search for gta search so we're searching for all the folders files let's see if it's going to pick it up any file with the name gta bingo android generic gta anywhere android vortex cloud gaming it's picked up this one see it's it feels more as you're working on a pc instead of feels like a, one of these file manager android gimmicks well i'm not saying anything bad against other file manager management software they might be good for you maybe it might be bad for you jesus christ so many formulas i created for gta 5 anyway yeah so but this one this particular one um it feels like it's it's meant to be used on a deck station when you start looking into um, others and comparing others obviously back to samsung file it, it it looks brilliant okay it does some awesome features you can uh, i don't know connect to cloud cloud thingies like samsung cloud and google drive and etc it gives you if i click on the storage storage ana analysis it's just going to give you oh my god so many videos of me <laughs> this is a vid this is a snapshot of videos from my previous one uh where i'm announcing that i reached 4,000 subscribers and about my patreon and about the giveaway if you want to win and you, if you want to win this thing let me grab it oh come on here we have this one uh game sir battle doc x1 whatever i leave a link if you want to try to win this in the link description in the description i'll leave a link in the description below 
anyway uh that's what happens when you're not editing videos all the blue bloopers and all the stuff comes into the main um output file anyway um then load and open the with edit okay so enter then load and edit or then load and open with brilliant so let's go all the way up so that's all the files by the way is found with the gta mentioned f10 bookmarks do i have any bookmarks no uh add a bookmark youtube thumbnails okay target directory uh where target directory i using this for past three or four days so i don't really know all of all the things so apology i, I would like to apologize if this video is not fully in depth look into this but i thought i, I i'm gonna mention this app because lately i've started receiving questions which file manager i would like i would suggest to 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 be, to be used on a deck station right actually let's try this uh bookmark thing bookmark so add a bookmark downloads downloads what's the target thing uh okay i uh, show in a home folder okay no uh, add a new bookmark so if i click on this oh right 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 that's what it does so uh let's say you have something by the way uh out out of topic space keep selecting the files so let's say you have for example uh one fold on the left side and another fold on the right side the bookmark will make these to to open that way so we have bookmark location youtube thumbnails i want to show up on the left and then downloads on the right so tab 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 enter okay so let's change something to this place and something to this place so let's go back to bookmarks uh this okay bingo yeah well it's, it's swapped it's swapped around so i need to open this side bookmarks uh, uh open this yeah technically it's open the side by side what you booked marked that's nifty f11 don't does nothing f12 does nothing f10 there's always exit search bookmark history history everything what you've done wherever you've been so i've been uh is it, i mean like this the probably the best file manager you can use on a deck station i'm just wondering can i change the look there's options obviously font and font and color at the bottom at the beginning i thought this might be an error but actually this is at a, a preview so if i go bold it's going to show this so change the uh text okay italic no font size uh theme is light okay this is how we're gonna look like obviously be careful if you're watching this in the late night get your get ready because eyes might burn i'm not sure if i like that uh let's go back uh font font and color dark okay go back okay let's go back to this um i might like this one let's have a quick look again uh, language yes date uh, file names ignore ignore these names if you want to do something sound music font and color right okay let's reduce this to uh, I would say 16 what this does all right okay okay how much space between this icon okay all the way use a new icon yes random round buttons let's leave round buttons i too to know what that does okay let's have a look how it looks like oh i quite like this one so uh oh by the way another thing this uh app has a plugins so if i go to an open let's say uh come on open up open this it has a plugin so we can install plugins something like ftp plugin file transfer protocol to, 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 to lan s ftp total drip so it's like a dropbox thing etc there's a third party ones which apparently one of them it says paragon usb on the go which allows you to get access to ntfs formatted disks and usb stick memory which is very good so there's an option for you to install if you want these plugins which let's say you're using duck station you need to connect to ftp so you can install one of these which if you click install it's going to take you directly to there to the google play store 
and you can install and obviously you can go by a Google Play Store app and install them if you want to. Okay, 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 back to the uh, file system root, uh, access to the root folder, bookmarks, that's where the bookmarks live. So let's say I wanna open this and now it's opening the bookmarks. Okay, brilliant. Uh, back, 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 back. And okay, that bug, if you're clicking space, or escape, sorry, too many times, it's just gonna uh, close it. I'm actually, instead of this, let's pin this to the bottom because I'm gonna use it quite a lot. So this is a total commander file manager on a deck station. Probably the best file manager I came across so far that is, you can use it with this device, the keyboard. Let's go around, okay, F10. You, uh, when you learn all the shortcut keys, it's gonna be like fly, 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 and you'll be able to uh, go around and, and maintain your folders, I mean, neat and tidy. Because at the moment, uh, I am a bit messy with all my files. Um, downloads, okay, uh, actually, let's delete this. So space, delete, F8, enter. Brilliant, so Total Commander available for free. Let me actually check. Total Commander available for free on the Google Play Store. Uh, Total Commander file manager, here we go. So full screen, okay, how many times it's been downloaded? <laughs> Come on, will the figures lie to you? 4.5 star reviews. So 183,000 people reviewed and it's nearly five stars and 10 million downloaded. Come on, to stop using everything else, get this one. Get this one, use this one, because this is amazing. Like, this app was great on Android 7, but now on Android 9, often gives an inner reception, not seen in the apps, fully playing song, stopped. Song again, I don't know how, how much it is right, wrong, etc. What's this? File transfer plugin to standalone app does not require total commander. Oh, right, so you can move files, just you, your phone becomes like a Wi Fi receiver, etc. Anyway, total commander available in the Google Play Store for free. Go and download and use it. Uh, just before you go and download, can I ask you to subscribe to this channel if you don't mind? And click like. Uh, the link for giveaway of this amazing item I'll leave in the description below. It's running out sometime this month by the way it's march 2018 if you're watching in the future giveaway is gone might be another giveaway is open by then because i'm gonna i'm gonna at least do looking around another seven another seven or eight giveaways and if you think that what my my content is okay <laughs> and uh it gives you a, a proper information please uh consider yourself to becoming a patron of my channel. I leave a link to the Patreon account in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Where's my button? Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.